Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and um, this time, um, it's 2.35 a.m. right now, so it's kind of, I'm kind of doing this pretty early. Um, yesterday, uh, my cast consisted of a, a dog walking video, but, um, that video ended up being like almost six gigabytes, so pretty huge. Um, it, it probably took me about an hour and a half to get it uploaded and processed all that, and that was just on YouTube. I didn't have time to upload it to Twitch, so I now have to do this uh, extra early because of uh, what I'm about to show. And um, in this, let me um, intro this really quick. Oh, 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 let me delete that out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that in there, otherwise I'll forget. But anyway, um, like yesterday, there's gonna be there are no visuals on this. This is just gonna be me talking. Um, anyway, this is going to be Porth Levin, Cornwall, on a perfect day. And I'm, where is Cornwall? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look that up real quick. But yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and run it. I want to say it's um, in England, or England or Ireland. Yeah, in um, in southwest England, I want to say it's almost um, I want to say it's in Wales. Yeah, cause it it's like on the very southwest tip of uh England. Unless Wales is like the western part of England and not the southwestern. Um, anyway, but I had some, I had, um, uh, one of his, uh, one of his other dog walking videos, or, yeah, one of his dog walking videos that I played yesterday, um, it, it seemed to go okay, like, I didn't get a takedown notice or anything like that. What the hell's that blonde guy doing? Anybody, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't given a takedown notice or anything, so... Yeah, I yeah I get those. I mean, actually, the um, one of the original videos that I was plan I actually wanted to use was from a channel called the Gohan Dog and Cats, and he shows videos of like a bunch of stray cats eating fish. I actually played one of those videos during one of my casts. I actually got a takedown notice from it. So, yeah, so that kind of ticked me off. You know, I mean, of all things, you know, it's, it's not like I'm, you know, it's not like I'm doing a cast video of, like, the CIA waterboarding a Cuban refugee or something. You know, or enhanced interrogation techniques or something like that. You know, it's not like I'm showing a video footage of, a, of an Apache helicopter shooting innocent people in Iran or something. No, it's just a bunch of cats eating fucking fish. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, I got a takedown notice for that. But, but any, anyway, sorry for the little bit of a rant, kind of a canker sore. Anyway, um, going back to here, though. Um, but, yeah, like ye yesterday, I didn't get a takedown notice or anything like that. So, I just went ahead and did another one, doing another one of his videos right now. Um, and um, if, I don't, if I don't get a takedown notice again, I might just go ahead and sub to this channel. Because he's got a lot of these. Just various uh, scenic places. So, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the video here real quick. I want to get this guy's name. Okay, Paul Denning. That's his name. But yeah, um, if he doesn't issue a takedown notice, I might sub to this guy because, like I said, he's got a lot of this kind of footage, and um, I'm at least. As of right now, I'm really, I'm really not in the mood to do visuals. Especially the big fiasco that occurred a few days ago. I was messing them up left and right. In fact, I had to edit out part of my video because it was, I was just so bad. So, I thought I'd just go ahead and give that a rest. I mean, except for the rare, 
except for the rare image or something that I have like right in front of me, the kind that I pretty much use every day. I might post those, I might use those, but as far as like one shot stuff, Uh, but anyway, yesterday, um, I, I streamed Windjammers 2. I'm really liking this game, and uh, I went ahead and took the plunge and uh, actually started doing a... Or I wouldn't even say taking the plunge. I just went ahead and tried uh, tried some more, rank, more uh, ranked matches, ranked online matches. I think I won three of them. That was pretty good. Um, I know yesterday, I was, I was kind of pissed, because uh, yesterday I was uh, up against a guy that... I had no chance against him. Like, uh, he had an answer for everything that I threw at him, and I had no I had no answer for the questions he was throwing at me, so I was pretty well dominated. But uh, to make matters worse, he was actually letting me score on him, which kind of pissed me off. Pretty disrespectful. Kind of a kind of a review from yesterday's cast, but but yeah, I was. So yeah, I was. I. I don't want to say butter. I'll, I'll just go with pissed. So I was really reluctant to to play some more online online matches yesterday, but I just went ahead and said fuck it. Decided to go ahead and do it anyway. But yeah, it was I did great. And or let me rephrase that: they were great matches. Like I wasn't dominating anybody. I think probably uh, chances are. The only thing, the only reason, the only one thing that might have tipped the scales in my favor, or then again, maybe not, was the fact that uh, I had some really bad ping. Um, I think all the matches were uh, 200 plus. If your ping is 200 plus, that's that's a pretty bad sign. Um, but yeah, one other thing that I forgot to mention about this game um, is uh, the game. Surprisingly, it has rollback, rollback netcode. I mean, I would have thought of, you know, Windjammers is kind of an obscure game. Not a whole lot of people know ab know about it. And plus, this is a, this is a brand, I mean, this is kind of a brand new game. So, usually I think games like this would just go with delay-based, the cheap stuff. Cheap and not very, not very effective. But again, it, you know, I mean, because rollback netcode, it's like really expensive to implement. And, um. I think I read somewhere that it's also super hard to maintain, especially um, especially if you're adding it in later. Like if you started with delay-based netcode, and if your game's been you know patched and updated and running for a while, and then and then you want to do rollback, you actually basically have to do an overhaul in your whole game in order to implement rollback. So, so I mean, but again, but again, it just basically rollback is really hard to put in your game. The, kind of the kind of the short version, so and it's expensive. So usually, big name games like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, those you know the big the big big huge titles. Those are the ones that are most likely to have rollback because they can afford it. So yeah, it was a really big surprise that uh, Windjammers has rollback. Um, and I, I don't really want to go into a super long explanation of how netcode works but basically delay based is ass rollback is awesome Be probably one way I could probably explain it is uh delay based is um if the connection between you and him has gone wrong somewhere your game is paused until things are set right again um rollback um your game is re is rewound it, there, your game is put on rewind. There we go. Delay, your game's put on pause. Rollback, your game's put on rewind. If something went wrong, your game's rewinded back until where the, to where the error could error occurred. Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on, my throat's getting parched. You know, so yeah, so basically, rollback is king. But on the downside, it's also expensive. So basically, you get what you pay for. So anyway, um, but like I like I said, one of the one of the reasons why 
why I might have had the edge, or then again, might not. It just, because all the games I was on, the, the ping was at least 200, which is pretty bad. Anywhere, it was anywhere between two to three hundred. So, a fair, so yeah, a fair, a fair amount of deja vu moments were occurring. Like I, I dive across the dive across the cord to catch a di catch the disc, but then all of a sudden, whoop, I get warped back to, like a second or two ago. Uh, there were times where I'd throw the disc and um, I would score a goal, but oh god, how, like right when I scored the goal, my opponent would all of a sudden die for the disc. See, it, but bas basically, gameplay was kind of wonky at times. So, but yeah, but yeah, like I said, um, I won three online ranked matches, so I had to move it up a bit. Moving up in the rankings. Um, and then also, and then throughout the night, and then, um, yeah, so throughout the night, just, um, played some Gems of War. It's the weekly reset. So, just doing a bunch of this, that, and the other, just trying to satisfy my, uh, weekly guild requirements. Um, trying to get the quotas met. I couldn't do it all today, so I'm gonna have to do the rest tomorrow. But that's pretty much gonna be how I. That's pretty much gonna be how I play gems now. Um, most of my work's gonna be done on Mondays and Tuesdays, and then when the quotas met, I probably won't touch the game again for the rest of the week, except maybe to come on and do a daily or two or something, you know, like a little bit of daily maintenance. But that's about it. And then um, I started watching season two of Tales from the Tour Bus. And I think um, I watched all the first episode and part of the second one. First episode being George Clinton, uh, legendary funk guy, uh, Funkadelic Parliament, or P-Funk. I think I have a, I think I've got a few of the albums. Um, one Nation Under a Groove, Mothership Connection, the self-titled debut for Funkadelic. Um... I want to say I got one more. Oh, and these are all on vinyl, too. So. But, yeah, that was kind of cool. There's, um, there's something else I was wanting to say about him, too. Oh, yeah. Um, then, um, there's a uh, legendary story about him. Um, during the early 80s, back when uh, Nancy Reagan was giving her, uh, anti-drug speech, like, in the, in the, in the, in the bottom floor of like the big, I think it was like the Radisson Hotel. While she was down there giving this big anti-drug speech, um, George Clinton was like 10 floors above her smoking crack. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> so, and then um, episode two was uh, Rick James. And, uh, it's, and now something I forgot to do. I wanted to, I want to find out where I'm Rick James, bitch. I want to, I want to find out where that came from. It's gonna be awesome as hell if it was actually like one of his albums and not Dave Chappelle. I think it might have been him. Hang on. Yeah, it looked like I said Dave Chappelle. saying uh yeah um yeah I'm looking at it right now yeah it's 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 uh Dave Chappelle show yeah Charlie Murphy's true Hollywood story skit on the Chappelle show okay like I said I thought that would have been cool as hell if uh if it was like a, a Rick James's very first album or something, like maybe like the very first track on the very first album, that would have been awesome. God, 
That look sucks to be the guy in the boat. Hope the cannon don't work. <laughs> Nothing left of them to spread in a pizza. But yeah, and then he was the one that um he was he was and Rick James, he was the one that came out with the uh, ever famous or or in my opinion the ever so fucking annoying um super freak yeah i actually forgot the name <laughs> pretty embarrassing but yeah it's it's the song that i hear that i hear every fucking where um now that i think about it, i don't other than a few exceptions here and there i don't think i've ever heard that song at uh at my job like walmart i don't think i've ever heard it except maybe like a few times here and there So I gotta give the mainstream some credit. You know, whether it be uh, movies or the radio, it's like every, it's like damn near every fucking movie's gotta have some sample of that song. Um, M you know, MC Hammer had it in his "Can't Touch This Song," and that song got annoying. And no, I'm not being, you know, I'm not being uppity. I'm not. I'm not putting myself above the music, but you know, when you caught when you're constantly forced to hear it, yeah, I do tend to get a little resentful. I mean, you know, the Clockwork Orange just kind of builds up, you know, builds up over the years. So, take it down the drink. Yeah, um, oh, that was something else. Um, I forgot about the, uh, the journey, for lack of a better word, that, uh, my journey into finding this video. Um, originally, I, no, I think, um, uh, I think, um, uh, a dog walking video came up on my YouTube recommendations. So, clicked on it, ignorant of what the rest of the title was. It was a walk on the beach. So once I once I saw that, I, I kind of got triggered because just like the aforementioned Super Freak, um, yeah, I saw you know the aforementioned Super Freak song. Yeah, I'm kind of sick and tired of uh, the walks on the beach. You know, type clips. You know, just I mean, they're in postcards, they're in movies, you know. You know, they're on calendars, they're on, they're on, uh, desktop backgrounds. So, I saw this, I'm like, oh god, not this shit. So, it kind of hit her. So, the, the walk on the beach was kind of a, kind of hit a canker sore of mine. So, so I actually, um, so it was, hang on, let me back up a bit. Yeah, so what I ended up doing is, um, uh, after I... After I ditched that video, I actually typed down, or I went on YouTube and act, actually typed down absolute shitholes. Expecting to see, like, you know, videos about walking through slums and whatnot. Um, didn't find any. There was, like, a music video about it, and there was, like, a pod, you know, some podcast stuff about, like, Seattle is a shithole, or, you know, stuff like that. So, I went ahead and, uh, so I went ahead and typed down "walking through slums." I I actually I actually found what I was looking for. And there was videos out there, you know, walking through Philippine slums and, you know, Asian, you know, walking through just various Asian places, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but the problem I had with them is the uh, people making the videos would not shut the fuck up. It just blah 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 blah. You know, it. I mean, I just. I just want to see the walk. I don't need a tour guide. You know, I don't, you know. You know, if I was to ever, if I saw a kid on the street, say, sticking a needle in his arm, I don't need somebody to tell me what a damn tragedy that is that children are addicted to heroin in this town. 
I could kind of figure that out on my own. You know, just 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 aside an example, you know. I had, and then after that, I actually looked, but um, I did see a video that I was going to consider putting in this cast. Um, this guy driving the streets of L.A. Not really a not really a fan of it like he's driving by prostitutes and stuff like that and you know black people getting in arguments in parking lots I uh, I got ahead of to him though at least he kept quiet but still it you know it wouldn't have it wouldn't have worked real well with my cast you know like if say the footage had like a a black guy getting the shit beat out of him by a bunch of white cops and here I am talking about gems of war it just it wouldn't be wouldn't be right. So so eventually I found this video here again. But in case I forgot to say it, this this is actually what I wanted to say at the start of this video. Like kind of the whole story behind this. So uh, but otherwise um. Yeah, um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. So, uh, I'm going to need a set to get this thing uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff. Like I said, I have to, I had to do this video early because it's probably, like yesterday, it's probably going to be a big one. So, I'm going to need a lot of extra time to get it all uploaded and all that. So, I kind of ran late. I kind of ran late yesterday. Um, I could only get it uploaded to YouTube and not Twitch. But yeah, that'll do her. Um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. Um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, which will be my last one for the week because my work week will have started up on Wednesday. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye now.